At Sensil, we're developing the next generation of input devices. We're trying to replace the archaic keyboard and mouse with an interface that's upgradable, it's customizable, and it really captures all the nuance and expression that our hands are capable of. Our first product looks like a trackpad, but we've actually packed 20,000 sensor elements into this form factor. Each of these sensor elements can detect the full range of forces that human hands are capable of. That means that when you touch this device, we can tell not only where your fingers are, but also how hard each one is pressing. We're precise and accurate enough to even detect bristles from this paintbrush. Because we sense force, we can detect touches through any flexible material. We've started developing these three-dimensional tactile overlays that when placed on top of the morph, change the device into any type of interface you can imagine. The overlays include magnets, making them easy to swap in and out, and software inside the morph automatically changes modes based on the overlay. You can connect it to your computer with a USB cable, and it can even talk to your tablet or phone via built-in Bluetooth. We believe this product will dramatically change the way people interact with technology, and we reached out to a few of our friends to see what they would create with the Sensil Morph. With the Sensil Morph, I'm able to work with the brush very naturally in a nuanced way. For instance, if I let go of the brush too soon, the bristles kind of sw like sweep off, and it picks that up. The tools disappear and you're left to your creativity, and that's what's exciting. The reason why paper and pencil work well together is because pencil will carve into paper. Uh, that's something that in the digital world today doesn't actually really happen all that often. That tactility, that extra level of dimension uh, is, is what makes art. Designing an interface is probably a necessity. For example, the drum rack or effects, turning knobs uh, up and down or piano keys and all of that. You know, one controller does it all. To me, it's appealing for a user to touch this device and interact with the physical world in a, a different way, a new way. If we didn't have the, the force sensitivity that the Sensil Pad has, I just don't think it would be as magical of an experience. The morph is taking all of these things that I want access to, but are typically in separate devices. And now we have them all combined into one device. We've spent years developing this technology and partnered with Frog Design to refine the product and build out some core use cases in art, music, and gaming. But we've only scratched the surface of what this technology is capable of. That's where we need your help. We want you to experiment, prototype, and push the bounds of what this technology can do. We're also developing an online tool that will let you build your own interface along with your own custom overlay. And for those of you who can code, we have an open source API that allows you to feed in raw pressure data or touch information into your application. We believe that the Sensil Morph will pave the way for a new generation of tactile, responsive, and expressive interfaces. And we need your support to bring this vision to life. Thanks, Kickstarter.